Hi, I'm Bryce, and welcome to Making Things. And I'm here with Will, who brought something cool to build with us. What did you bring? Hi, yeah, um, so we are going to build uh, this rocket launcher. It's a very simple water bottle rocket launcher. Um, it uses a bike pump uh, as the source of air pressure. Um, it uses this uh, soda bottle um, as the, the vessel to hold the compressed air. Um, and you can stick this bottle on this cork here in this PVC frame. And if we pump it up, it'll launch it, which we won't do inside. <laughs> cool, let's get started. So the big part of this project is the PVC pipe frame for the rocket launching mechanism. For that, we're going to need five lengths of about five inch, half inch PVC, two lengths uh, that are about two inches long, three end caps, three 45 degree angle bends, um, two T joints, one of which has a three eighths inch hole drilled in the middle, one cork uh, that has uh, about the same size hole. Um, this is a Schrader valve from a bike tube. You can also use a Presta valve. And then this is a five foot long length of vinyl tubing. It's a 3 16 inch inner diameter, which fits this Schrader valve. For the rocket itself, we're going to use a soda bottle. It can be any soda bottle, um, but the important part is that it is designed to hold a pressurized liquid, so soda or seltzer or something like that. Um, the other important part is that the cork can fit inside of the neck of the soda bottle pretty snugly so that pressure can build up before the cork gets launched out. So the first thing we're going to do is actually make the launching mechanism. So I'm going to take this Schrader valve, um, this valve that we got from a bike tube, I'm going to stick it in one end of this vinyl tubing here. And then the other end of the tubing is gonna go through this PVC T with the hole in it. It's gonna stick out the end here. It's gonna go into the cork. I'm gonna have the, the narrower side of the cork facing out. And then I'm gonna shove the wide end of the cork into, into the PVC T. And this should take a little bit of force because it's going to hold it nice and snug. So having built this, uh, this kind of launching mechanism, the, we're going to start working on our frame. Our frame is going to be a little tripod. I'm going to take the, each of these five inch PVC lengths, one on each of the ends of the joint. And then finally, I'm just going to take this other T here and stick it on one of the sides. So I'm going to take my two two inch lengths of PVC. I'm going to stick them into the ends of the T joint over here. And I'm going to take my three 45 degree connections. I'm going to put one on each of these sides. And these are going to connect this kind of top bar here to the legs of the launcher um, to build ourselves a little tripod. Um, so I'm going to need my last three lengths of five inch PVC. I'm going to put my end caps on them. And I'm going to put one on each of the three 45 degree bends. And I'm going to end up with this nice little tripod here. Um, I'm going to push everything in as snugly as possible so nothing falls apart while we're launching rockets. Um, and there we go. Once you have your uh, rocket launcher built, you're going to need a rocket. The bottle itself works fine as a rocket. It can shoot pretty high in the air. But if you want to add, uh, if you want to make it more aerodynamic, um, make it launch higher, or just make it look more awesome, you can add things like fins or a nose cone. Um, I'm going to make the simplest fins I can imagine making. I'm going to cut these three triangles out of cardstock or cardboard, or anything relatively rigid will work, of approximately the same size. I'm going to fold them in half, and then I'm just going to tape them to the outside of the rocket. Now I'm going to tape them to the rocket. <laughs> Remember that the bottom of the rocket is where the, is where the cork and the bottle cap goes. And that this is the part that's going to be shot upwards into the sky. And there are lots and lots of different ways that you can do all sorts of interesting things to make your rocket launch higher up into the air or behave in certain ways as it flies. There are lots of resources uh, on, online. NASA has produced a bunch of good water bottle rocket resources that you can look up and you should experiment and play around with it. There we go. So in order to actually launch the rocket, you're going to need a, you're going to need a bike pump um, or some kind of pump to, to attach to the valve here um, to actually push the air into the bottle. So you can take this valve. This is a Schrader valve. You can also use a Presta valve. We got these just from old flat bike tires. Um, you can stick it in your tube, and then you can pull it, lock it. Every bike tube has its own little kind of locking or unlocking mechanism, but once it's on, you can just put some air in. If you 
I can feel it, some pressure building up in there. Um, I probably shouldn't keep doing it, otherwise I'm gonna launch a rocket inside. So of course, to, we're, gonna, we're gonna need to put a little bit of water in our water, water bottle rocket to launch it up into the air with. Um, I'm gonna pour a little bit of water in and in order to prevent the water from spilling, I'm gonna flip the, the launcher over. I'm gonna stick it on as snug as I can, put it down, and then we just gotta fill it up with air and launch it off. Cool. Thanks, Will. And thanks to everyone who backed our Kickstarter. Especially Paul Glazer, International Sybarite. And if you'd like to help us make other cool videos like this, you can support us on Patreon. And it would be most helpful if you subscribed to this YouTube channel. Uh, just click subscribe. Links are below. Thank you. As each one lines up, it's all just gonna kind of fall into place. And then you've got a set of wings. <laughs>